Crazy Hair Day by me, Barney Salzberg. Stanley Birdbaum woke up early. Bald Eagle Elementary School was celebrating Crazy Hair Day, and Stanley couldn't wait. They had celebrated Pajama Day, Twin Day, and Sixties Day. Stanley's favorite was Twin Day because he and his best friend, Larry Finchfeather, had worn exactly the same thing. Stanley was ready. He had rubber bands, he had styling gel, and to make his hair perfect, Stanley had two cans of Halloween hairspray. Stanley's mother knew just what to do. She wrapped, she dipped, and to make his hair perfect, she sprayed Stanley's hair bright orange and blue. Ta-da, said Stanley. I am a work of art. You are going to be late if you don't hurry, said his mother. Stanley rolled the rubber bands in his hair. He gently tapped the tops of his spikes. This, he said, is going to be a day I will never forget. I bet Larry Finchfeather and I will have the craziest hair in the whole school, Stanley thought. As he walked toward the classroom, he heard his teacher talking. And remember, Mr. Winger said, crazy hair day is next Friday. Everybody stopped. Everybody stared. Stanley felt sick. Larry Finchfeather said, is that a hair do or a hair don't? Everybody laughed, and Stanley ran to the bathroom. A few minutes later, Stanley heard someone come in. It's me, Larry Finchfeather. The Larry Finchfeather who just made fun of me in front of the whole class, asked Stanley. I was only teasing, said Larry. Well, some days you tease me too much, said Stanley. Mr. Winger said he wants me to try to be a peacemaker instead of a troublemaker, said Larry. I'm supposed to bring you back to class. I'm not going, said Stanley. If you stay in here, you'll miss being in the class picture, said Larry. I thought that was next Friday, said Stanley. Crazy hair day is next Friday, Larry said. Today is school picture day. Stanley rolled the rubber bands in his hair. He gently tapped the tops of his spikes. This, he said, is going to be a day I will never forget. Larry Finchfeather suggested that Stanley try washing his hair in the sink. It won't help, said Stanley. Halloween hair color lasts for days. Well, it really doesn't matter. It's only your hair, Larry told him. If you don't come out of here by the time math is over, I'm coming to get you. You can't stay here all day. It was very quiet after Larry Finchfeather left, and Stanley wondered if maybe he could spend all day in the bathroom. He ate his lunch, he drew pictures, he even timed himself to see how fast he could flush all the toilets. 32 and a half seconds, he shouted. A new world record by me, Stanley Birdbomb. Stanley had counted up to 121, 122, 123 drops of water from a leaky faucet when Larry Finchfeather came back. Beep, time's up, let's go, Larry announced. Picture time. If I'm in it, I'll look like the class weirdo, said Stanley. Remember 60s day when Mr. Winger had the flu but came in anyway, said Larry? He said the day wouldn't be the same if we weren't all together. You have to come. I'll give you five minutes. Larry Finchfeather left and Stanley Burbaum thought about 60s day when Mr. Winger had taught them all those great old songs. He remembered how on pajama day everyone in his class had worn PJs and slippers. Then Stanley imagined what his class picture would look like without him. He decided to go back to class. To keep from being nervous, Stanley made up a song. Crazy hair, crazy hair, how I wish it wasn't there. Stanley felt someone touch his shoulder. I was just coming to get you, said Larry Finchfeather. What if they laugh at me again, asked Stanley. Everything will be fine, Larry whispered. I promise. Stanley stood in front of his class. Everybody stopped. Everybody stared. Stanley rolled the rubber bands in his hair. He gently tapped the tops of his spikes. This, he said, is going to be a day I will never forget. And he looked very happy when he went to sleep. And the reason he's sleeping on his stomach is because his hair was too spiky for him to sleep on his back. <laughs>